received uh, by Hideo Kojima on developed slash published by Konami originally for home computers in 1988 and in 1994 for the Mega CD as well as in 1996 for the Sony PlayStation on Sega Saturn was that of Snatcher. The premise of the game had it that it was set within the then mid 21st century, 50 years after a genetically engineered virus known as Lucifer Alpha killed most of the planet's population. Taking place in what was assumed to be Japan, in Neo Kobe City, a futuristic city built atop an artificial island. Humanoid robots termed Snatchers have been recently killing humans, as well as afterwards wearing their skin as a disguise to elude capture, and even replacing the then deceased person in society. To deal with the threat of the Snatchers, the Neo Kobe government seals the city off from the rest of the world and establishes a group called Junker, a specialized group to hunt, capture, as well as destroy Snatchers. The player assumed the role of Gillian Seed, a man suffering from memory loss, and his estranged wife, Jamie, who is somehow connected to the entire incident with the Snatchers. Gillian decides to work with Junker with the hopes that hunting the Snatchers will help him recover details of his life. Others working with Junker were Mika Slayton and Chief Benison Cunningham. Gillian actually receives a robotic companion called Metal Gear from the chief engineer of Junker, Harry Benson. As he soon receives word of assistance from Metal Gear about another Junker agent, Jean Jacques Gibson, but by the time he gets to where Jean Jacques' quest had originated from, he's already dead. Gillian pursues the lead about who exactly killed Jean Jacques, all details are eventually revealed that a hospital where Jean Jacques was investigating was the location for a number of victims killed by snatchers. Looking through the remains, one of them is actually Chief Cunningham, meaning that the main overseer of Junker is actually a snatcher in disguise. Gillian later returns to the Junker headquarters to find Harry near death due to being attacked by the snatcher impersonating Cunningham. The conspiracy further deepens when Gillian kills the snatcher impersonator of Cunningham as he receives a call from Jamie to meet up. The both of them rendezvous at an abandoned Russian church where it's discovered that Jamie is being held captive by an elderly scientist, Elijah Ronyar, who explained the truth of Gillian's past. A pair of them were involved with a secret experiment over 50 years previously brought by the Soviet Union during the Cold War to create the Snatchers, which were originally designed to kill and replace as well as impersonate various world leaders to benefit the Soviet Union. Gillian was originally that of an undercover CIA operative sent by the United States government to spy on the Russian project, who during the course of events married Jamie and had a child with her, who actually grew up to be Harry Benson. Gillian and Jamie were placed into cryogenic stasis when Elijah released the Lucifer Alpha virus into the Earth's upper atmosphere and spread the virus across the world through the various air currents. Due to Gillian and Jamie being preserved in cryogenic stasis for so long, destroyed some details of their memories when they were released. Driven mad by all that has occurred, Elijah intends to use the Snatchers to kill all of humanity as well as to replace them as proof of the limitations that human beings possess. Events lost, they have Metal Gear activating its weapons abilities to destroy the church as well as the Snatcher base hidden within it. Gillian later learns of a larger and more complex Snatcher facility in Moscow, as he prepares to head for Russia hoping to destroy the threat of the Snatchers against humanity, as well as possibly putting Brock together his marriage with Jamie. When originally released, critics as well as players of the game gave Hideo Kojima monumental praise, as the premise of the game was groundbreaking as well as revolutionary. Kojima wanted the concept of the game to be that of a similar style to that of Blade Runner, which was originally released in theaters just a few years previously. All of the characters depicted within Snatcher were also considered relatable as well as original, as the situation with Gillian Seed was one of 
of the first times in a video game where the story was not set for the character and the player couldn't exactly trust the details that were presented for the character to experience in terms of a story. In terms of plot on death for the characters to be depicted in on for the player to experience, Kojima originally planned for the game to be even more in-depth than what was eventually released. The game was limited by the technology of the era, as the game's final was technically that of an unresolved state when compared to his original plans for Snatcher. Due to various reasons, the game wasn't remastered or even re-released after 1996, so it's considered to be one of the greatest video games ever conceived that much people have not even played, as well as in the modern era of gaming, few have even ever known about. Sometimes a character can be forgotten because they were the first to be depicted, but due to various reasons, future generations didn't even know that they existed. 